Okay, thank you for this introduction. Uh, first of all, I want to thank the organizers for giving me the opportunity to do this lecture. I'm very uh, honored and um, pleased to be there. Uh, and today my talk will be focused on elastography to um, analyze and revisit muscle biomechanics. So muscle biomechanics has been well described in the past, mainly since the pioneering work of Hill. It's well known that the muscle force depends on the muscle length and muscle shortening velocity according to the well-known force length and force velocity relationships. It's also well known that the muscle displays a viscoelastic behavior that can be modeled using a classical Hill-type model. Uh, in vitro, it is also si possible to focus and to target some tissues and to uh, analyze and to obtain the stress-strain relationship uh, for biological tissues, because in vitro, it is possible to focus and target specific tissues in order to characterize their properties. But the relevance of this kind of characterization for human physiology and human biomechanics is not very clear. That's why we need the same kind of method to analyze uh, the properties of the muscles in vivo, and for that purpose, we can use ergometers. And ergometers are widely used to obtain, for instance, the torque angle relationship in active condition, in passive condition, and also the torque velocity relationship. And these relationships are classically considered as analogous of the force length and force velocity relationships. However, they are also quite different because the torque described here, the torque measured by the dynamometer, the ergometer, is produced by several structures, several muscles, the tendons, the joint capsule, etc. So there is a need of more localized methods to analyze um, the properties of tissues in vivo and non-invasively to better understand uh, muscle biomechanics and to revisit basic concepts. Um, a lot of efforts uh, were focused on that topic in the literature. Um, but most of these efforts were focused on the use of ultrasound. Because ultrasound can be used to quantify the displacement in the muscle tendon unit, for instance here, the tendon strain or the fascicle lens. But you should keep in mind that ultrasound provides only displacement and does not give any information about the, the, the force, the tension, the stress, or the stiffness of tissues. That's why we were very interested in the use of elastography that can be used to analyze the uh, localized mechanical properties of tissues. And uh, the first part of my presentation will be focused on elastography method. Uh, I will try to uh, explain why we choose one particular method called supersonic shear imaging. And then I will try to show you that these methods have a huge potential to uh, uh, stu 